So let's take a look at how you can create Excel file in Windows PowerShell. So I have opened this Windows PowerShell IDE, or you can see ISC that you can access from Accessories, Windows PowerShell in Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. Okay, so for Windows 10, the instruction would be slightly different, but you get to access Windows PowerShell IC through search as well. Okay, so create one uh, Windows PowerShell file. Okay, name it sample.ps1. Then, first thing, create Excel variable. Then let's point to new. Type in object. Then com object. Then Excel dot application. So first calling for that. Then we go use Excel dot visible set to true. Okay, make sure you have dollar sign here. Okay, after that we will add workbooks. So with Excel, dot okay, so workbook then we can also add let's say worksheet and then edit it so book dot worksheet and dot add okay. and then finally we can also add Saves us, and inside that we can have path okay. Finally, we managed to use the quit as well. So, what we did first line we call for Excel, then we open that Excel on desktop, then we added a workbook, then added a worksheet, then saved it to a specific path and managed to quit the Excel. Okay, so let's save this and run this. And let's find out if it brings any error on let's say line number five, usually because this seems as has issues working with some PowerShell versions. Okay. If that happens, then we can use this in higher version and just run up to line 5. Okay, as you can see, it opened Excel, created a workbook, and it managed to close itself. So this was how you can create Excel file with Windows PowerShell.